Oh, good morning, everybody. Back at the cabin. If you look right, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right about there somewhere. There's an eagle sitting out there in the lake. There was two of them this morning. <clears throat> Probably out there picking minnows off of somebody's hole. Um, I think it's about 23 degrees. And we're just hanging out, Lori and I at the cabin this weekend. And I have a project. My very good friends Eric, who you hear me refer to all the time, teaching me to trap. He makes jigs. And he asked me to do some beta testing on one of the jigs that he made on these crappies. So I am going to head out here in a little bit. I'll show you the jig that he made. And I'm going to test them to see if they work out here. I kind of got the Eric guarantee on it, so I think they'll work. But I've never used a hair jig out here before, ever. So we'll just see how it goes, and we'll take you along. See you on the ice. All right, everybody, these are the jigs that Eric made. I'm going to try them handmade. They're tungsten head lead, or heads, and then uh, the feathers he put on them. So I'm going to head out here in a little bit. I'm just waiting for some batteries to charge, and then uh, we're going to head out and give these all a shot in my crappies and bluegills, see how they work. See you on the ice. All right, we're headed out. Windy out here. It's making ice. It's cold, very cold. Last night, last couple days have been cold, so I can see down. It looks like there's more ice than there was last time I was here. Again, my goal is 10 crappies. As usual, Lori and I have eaten all those. We've been eating our fish. So I'm gonna head out here to my spot. I'm the dog again. Dog sled's coming behind me. So, we'll see how these new jigs turn out. My goal is to work these jigs. See uh, how they work. There's been people out here, man. There's a hundred holes in front of me. I counted this morning, I stopped at about 72, so. I don't know who was out here, but somebody was augering holes, lots of them. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I just got out here. Put the hairy jig down, got one right away. Little one, I'm gonna let it go. But had one northern too, but we're gonna let that guy go. And back out here in 10 and a half feet of water. Seems to be lots of crappies down there, we'll see. Got some weeds in this one. I'm going right to the top of the weeds. We'll see if I can get something to come up. Another one right away. The hair jig works, folks. Right away, another crappie. Little one, another one to let go. Again, as my normal, I just want 10 of the larger ones. The little guy. It's two out of this hole. Like I said, somebody, somebody did 100 holes out here, but they're not on the spot. Get a nicer one out of this hole. This one up right away. Oh, he's on immediately, man, immediately. This one seems a little nicer. Yep, a keeper. Oops. Three out of this hole. As soon as it gets down, I'm right on the edge of the weeds. I can see there's more down there. There's two more down there right now. Buddy, I always forget to bring my forcep out here. Oh, he's got it way in the roof of his mouth. There we go. There you go. All right, I'm going back down, see if I can get a fourth one here. Just keeping that one. The other two, two are two I let go. There was more down here. Love this hair jig, man, it works. Wonder if I'll get more bluegills. I'm trying to take my gloves off, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's cold, windy.
man, this ice, there comes one. Oh, we got it. Pounded. Pounded. This ice is just cracking, folks. There's a lot of solid ice. Another nice drop. Holy Jesus, snaky. Now I'm gonna let this one go, a little one. Um, this ice is just pounding. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I think it's making ice, not losing ice. Okay, there. We'll let him go. So that's th four I've caught, one I've kept out of this hole. The hair jigs work. I think uh, my friend Eric calls them the no bait jig because if you start using this, you won't buy any more bait. All right, we got another one on. I moved out a little deeper here. Oh, this is a nice crappie. Oh my God. Biggest one of the year right there. Holy Hannah. Well, I think the uh, hair jig, the no more bait jig or the no bait jig just proved itself. That's one of my biggest ones of the year. That's a beauty. And I'm out beyond the weed line here. There's no weeds on there. When the last one I was at, it's about six feet that way. And there was weeds in that one. There's none in this one. We'll see if I can get another one right away. That's two keepers. Okay, I'm in about 10 feet and I'm in setting it at nine and a half. See if one comes up. That one took a little while to show up, but he did. Hair jigs by Eric. Tungsten head, so there's really small head. A lot of hair. Makes them himself. I'm gonna have him teach me how to do that too. He's been teaching me a lot of stuff. All right, nothing this hole. I'm gonna move on. I got that nice big one. It's the only one in this hole. Give her another second and see what happens. Oh, here comes one. Coming up. Waited long enough, was patient. Oh, missed him. Dang, these little tiny hooks on these things. That's okay. Come on, bud, come on. It's stuck on the ice. Hear that ice cracking? All right, down I am again. See if I can get him to come back. Here he comes. on there again. What if these are bluegills? There's one right on it. On it, got it again. Man, this seems like an, oh, I can see it down there. It's another beauty. Ooh. Oh, got it. All right, jig came off and I'll go right back down and leave that one sit here. All right, that's three. This is the whole, last time I was here, I think I got four right in a row at the end to go home. Oh, one's right there to meet it already. I wasn't even down. Here comes one. Down there already. I mean, that, they were waiting for it when it came down there. Wow. I'm let this one go. Wow. Hair jigs. I never imagined hair jigs. I never imagined fishing this shallow on my lake. But again, I keep learning. Learning about trapping, shallow water crappie, put him down there. Oh, hit it immediately as soon as it went down. It was like a doozy. Another fighter, man. little ones in this hole but it's action I like action it's kind of why I like perch so much I love walleyes too but perch give you so much action heading back down see if I can get another one out of here Well, I just moved over that other hole had a bunch of uh, Northerns in it. I could tell by the way they came screaming up. They were pulling 10 feet off the bottom, but I just got this one That's a definite keeper there and There's a bunch more in this hole. Holy Hannah I almost pulled it out thinking they were Northerns, but 
They're definitely crappies. That's uh, three I've kept. And again, I'm out here in ten and a half. Oops, sorry. I'm out here again in ten and a half feet, my target zone. Here comes it comes. That might be a northern. Listen. No, it came up so fast. Another crappie. I thought it was a northern. He, I mean, ten and a half feet. He met it at about seven. That's why I thought it was a northern. There must be a whole pot of down there. Okay, let's see if I can get another one. This just bodes well for the future. I mean, for next year for sure. There's been some pressure on this lake, but here's another one waiting for it. It came up right away. It's going to hit as soon as it gets down there. There's about six of them down there looking at this thing. One of them's going to hit it. Raise it up, see if he'll come up and get it. Nope. Maybe one of his buddies will. Definitely down there. Comes. Oh, man. They are just screaming of another beauty. There's four. What the heck am I going to do all afternoon? Oh, I didn't even show you that one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. No, oh, I can't grab them. That one. That's four. The two over there, two here. Two of them came screaming up. Oh, little guy, let him go. Little one of the. I don't know. I'll see how this goes. If it slows down, it might just keep five and then come back out before dark. There's a little guy. Still more down there, I can see him waiting. So the hair jig's working. The bottom line is my beta test of the hair jig. Hear that ice? I hope you do it broke right below my feet. Like I've said before, I feel safe. There's 10 inches of ice out here. It's just shifting. It's windy. Here comes one. On it. That's how fast it is, folks. It's crazy how fast this happens. Uh, nope, not gonna keep him. He's nice, but I'm gonna let him go. Right in the roof of the mouth again. Boy, someone yell at me to bring a forcep next time. Man, how dumb am I? There we go. Come on, buddy. Open your mouth. I gotcha. There you go. All right. Let them go. I never fish these in the summertime. I've never caught a crappie here in the summertime. Might try the spring though, right after ice out. Kind of come right where I am right now. So there's one down there. It comes one. Oh, wow. This might be something other than a crappie. No, crappie. These little guys are just aggressive, man. This one came screaming up and took it away from another one. Missed that one, man. He came up again, screamed up. A lot of little ones. They didn't hook him that good. Maybe he'll come back. Here comes one. Got that one. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but he came up and ripped on it again. Okay. Oh, now this might be the biggest one of the year. Holy Hannah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you won't. You're making an old man look bad. Look at that guy, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a nice crappie. Man, I can just hear this ice heaving up on shore. 
where people have their riprap, it's creaming up on top of the riprap. One came up and looked at it, but went away. Again, it was ice was cracking underneath me. It's kind of like when they go away. Oh, miss that guy. These vexlars are invaluable, man. You know they're there. You can see them coming to rip on it, man. And they're not a sponsor by any means. I don't know if any of you have been on the ice and the ice cracks and the water bubbles up your hole or it kind of flows up your hole. It just happened to me. I'm watching the water spill up over the top of the hole. Boy, there's fish down there, but they're not biting. Kind of slowed down a little bit. Let's see if when I get one of these to come up and pop it. Here comes one. Oh, yeah, got him. Just needed to be a little more patient, Brian. Oh, yeah. Another guy. I'll let him go for next year. North Central Minnesota crappies. Let's see if I can get another one a little bigger. I think I have six in the pail, so I need four more. I'm not adverse to going in, having lunch, and coming back and getting four more later on. Light, light to come back out. Who knows how much longer this ice is going to last. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear that cracking. You should be able to, it's loud. I can hear it roar all the way across the lake. Like a bolt of lightning. And that guy came up and turned right around and went down. They kind of took the feed bags off here a little bit. I've actually seen this before in the shallow water. Um, right around the lunch hour. But I've also gotten a little lazier and not gotten hole hopping. I should start hole hopping again. I'm just kind of working on this hole. Like I said, I don't mind if I have to go in and eat a little lunch and come back out and get the last four. I don't care. It's nice and peaceful out here. Ice is howling. Wind's howling. Sometimes the last wind gust I thought was a car. It's going, man, making a car sound. That's just howling through the red pines right there. Oh, there is one on there. Jeez, I didn't think there was one on there. I wouldn't mind going in and getting a forcep. I wouldn't have to do this. Stick my thumb down there, finger down their throat. Little guy, but at least they're down there. I'll let that guy go. Let's see what happens if I go back down. Let's see if another one runs back up there. Sometimes we're in schools, you know, so if you get one, you get more than one. Especially this is that hole where I got a whole bunch out of before. See if one comes up. Otherwise, I'm gonna hole hop again. That was a prime example where one hit it and, and swam up. I didn't, I didn't think it was on there. I was trying to get my jig to go back down. Wouldn't go back down. Got one right away. As soon as I got to this hole, I hole hopped. Two came screaming up and got one of them. I think I'm gonna let him go. He's a keeper, but man. I want to keep fishing. Come on, buddy. Man, he really enveloped that thing. Here he is. Verge of a keeper, but not quite, so we'll let him go and see if I can get his brother or big sister. Man, they were on it. Two of them were right on it as soon as that fly came down there.
fun when you come to a hole, put your jig down. Is here he comes one. Let's see if he's gonna. Here he comes. Oh, he hit it twice. Twice. He banged it, I didn't take, hit him, and he banged it again. And then I hit him and he didn't have it. There's more down there, I can see him. Hear the ice cracking? <laughs> Craziness. Another hole. It looks like a dandy too. Yep. Tangled up in the transducer and everything. I'm just hole hopping. Every hole I go down, they seem to come up. Dang, do I keep that one or not? He's beauty. So oh god. I'm gonna go to nine then stop keeping them. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I had a little cluster, so I had to go over and retie. Get out the old guy cheaters. I have eight. What I'm gonna do is get nine. Then I'm gonna come back out before dark and get a few more, or get one more. But that way I can just keep fishing. I'll just keep one tonight for ten. So we're gonna see how this goes. I haven't I'm just going back down this hole for the very first time. This is where I got that last one. Back in the ten and a half feet, perfect depth. See if one comes screaming up to get it. There he is, already. That's what it's like, unbelievable, unbelievable. I can't believe it. Oh, it's a big one too, another. I just walked up after retying. I left my Vexlar right here, walked up to the hole. Look at that guy on the hair jig. Look at that guy, holy Hannah. Ooh, got me a northern, I think. Pretty sure this is a northern. Sure is acting like it. Yeah, definitely northern. Or a bass could probably a northern. Came into the weeds. Oh yeah, I can see him. Here he comes. I was lucky. He uh, put his nose right in the hole. So I was able to just jerk him right up through the hole. Nice little northern, I don't know, 20 inches maybe. Look who came to visit. Piper, where are you? Piper's out here. Hey, Piper. Piper came out, and I see the beautiful brides heading out towards me over there. So I won't be able to go for a walk with her because I don't have my cleats, and I don't think she brought mine. So when she's going out to check on me, she's going to take Piper for a little walk. There's Piper doing the dog thing. What's going on, bud? Yeah. Looking at it. Hey, bud. What's going on? You want to catch some crappies? Well, I decided to show you the competition on the lake. Horrible. Saturday. Look at all these people. Oh, there's a dog and a wife out there. Crazy. Yep. All right, cabin's looking good. Remember I was talking about the ice heaving up on shore? See what it's doing there? It's climbing up on my riprap. Riprap obviously being the rocks that we put in. And if you look right there, you can see where it actually tumbled one off. So those will all get, like you can see, it's pushing those up right there, right? Flat one right, probably right, you can't see it in my screen, but right about there, there's one that's pushing it up. 
So Lori had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come out here? We'll sit on the swing and listen to the ice crack. It's like thunder. Pretty cool. Beautiful day, sunny day. Do this for a while and then uh, go back out fishing. All right, baby. That's it. No, no, that's it. You okay? Yeah, you're okay. You're a little baby. Nope, go lay down. I made it back out, already got one. I just need one more for a limit. I'm just catch and release in here. They're on consistently. I just want one big one and then I'm just gonna catch and release the rest of the time. It's afternoon, Lori and I went and hung out in the one right there. Hung out in the swing, kind of napped almost outside, man. It was great. There's that guy. Well, I got so surprised, came back to the shallow water hole. <laughs> got another beauty, but he's going back. Probably would have kept him normally. But I got my 10, I'm just catching releasing now. All right, here's my two pro tips for the day. Don't ever say I'm gonna go in. One more fish and I'm gonna go in because it'll take forever to get that last fish. Number one. Number two, when you become desperate, Take, show them your Pete and Will posse hat, they just surrender immediately. That's a guarantee. That's a Mark Pro guarantee. In I go. All right, final catch. 10 crappies. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. Actually, I think they're all pretty nice.